going on, guys? And uh, welcome back to some more of the Legend of Majora's Mask in the last part. We got the worst mask in the whole game, in my opinion, and we uh, continue more of Great Bay Temple. This part, we're going to see how much more we can do in Great Bay Temple. But first, we have to soar, because I saved at Clock Town and not the other way around. I'll just cut to a at Great Bay Temple. Actually, no, I'll just, uh, it just takes a quick soar and a hookshot ride. Yes, we were able to get through maybe, I, I'd say we were able to get through the first half of Great Bay Temple. Which, uh, is not, it's pretty solid for two videos. Um, I actually record, though I recorded those videos over a week ago and I mainly just have, uh, content to, uh, I need content to put, like, um, to, so basically, like, uh, yeah, these videos are basically recorded a week in advance, so, uh, you don't have to do the cutscene again if you're going through Great Bay Temple a second time. You don't have to go through the temple with the the cutscene with the uh with the uh pirates. So yeah. Now we are basically going to see what we can do. Uh We're going to basically try to see what we can do with uh we can't, we, we we're supposed to do something in this room. I think we're supposed to do something in this room, but we can't quite do it yet. Let me actually, uh, legit trying to remember what to do here, because, like, um, I remember the first half of Great Bay Temple more than I remember the second half, but I am gonna get a stray fairy, and this involves getting the ice arrows. I think this is what we have to do next. Because we have to go back into the room with, uh... Wow, we dove off of there. Anyways, we, we freeze that. Yeah, that's what we do. This is to uh, change the water levels, and on top of that is to get a stray fairy also. So we're going to have to do both for completionism. Plus, I would also, much like how I recommended getting the, uh, the uh, stray fairies in a uh, Snowhead Temple, I also recommend getting the stray fairies here, because the prize is just as good. Especially going to come helpful for the next temple. Which, the next temple is actually the last in the whole game. Basically like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, because um, that game's now come out. Um, the game's basically four temples, but like a fuckload of side quests. I actually have yet to play Tears of the Kingdom, because like, I burned myself out playing Breath of the Wild. Because like, I'm not used to really games that play like Skyrim, so like, um... And plus, I feel Breath of the Wild plays more like Skyrim than Zelda, so, like, um... It's not a bad game, it's a very solid game, but, like, um... I'm definitely gonna have to play that again, because Breath of the Wild is probably gonna be the standard of Zelda, like how Ocarina of Time was 20 years ago. Anyway, so we have to, uh... We have to basically, uh... Use our Ice Arrows. Thank God we have the longer Magic Man that makes this easier. So I want to say around here should be good. We have to kind of hook shot away up that wall. Like this, like here. Alright, that gets us a stray fairy. And this is our ninth stray fairy. We should have nine stray fairies by this point. Though, so I think we have to, um... What I try to say? I think we have. To, I think because we entered the te we re-entered the temple. I think we have to pull the red lever a second time. So uh, I'm gonna off-screen that. So I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, guys, I might legit be. I might be legit lost. So uh, okay, that that's a plan that didn't work. See, this is, I don't, I don't always remember how to do the second half, because, like, there's two halves of this area. There's, there's kind of two halves of this temple, I, I'm trying to remember, like, I might off-screen while I figure it out. Okay, it's actually going to dawn, it's actually going to turn to the dawn of the final day. 
doesn't seem to kind of react to it. We kind of have to figure this out sooner or later. Actually, I think we'll sort of the beginning because, um... I'm trying to remember how to get the, uh... I'm trying to remember, like, uh... There's a specific... I know there's a switch we have to pull, but I don't remember where it is. That's the problem. I have to off-screen it to, like, actually figure it out. Yeah, this was the room where the mini boss is. So, uh. This is what I said. It's like, not only that the. Not only that. This is worse than the water temple in Ocarina of Time because not only is it this easy to get lost in, but like, um, the puzzles are also kind of confusing. But I think we have to go back to the entrance, so, uh, I'll sort of the entrance. I think we need the hook shot. So, like, um. Plus, I think we only really need to go there to get that straight fairy. I don't know. I'm fucking confused. I might, I might even just look. I might even have to look up a guide that says how to do it. Because if you pull this lever that's over there, basically the uh, platform stop moving. I think we also need the hook shot for this part, so, uh... Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I do remember what we have to do. I did remember what you have to do. I just, I didn't look at it properly. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. I knew we needed the hook shot, and it's just like... I, always, I never remember what order to do this shit in. Yeah, I knew we had to go here. And then we have to pull that other switch. This switch in the beginning finally gets its own use. So yeah, this is basically what we really have to do, and I mean it for real this time. I love how I wasted basically 10 minutes because I thought you had to, I thought there was another way to like, um, really we just need the hook shot. And we just needed to, um, we still needed to push that red thing from earlier, but I'd forgotten I'd already done it. And now, in this middle room, the current's gonna take us in a different direction, so basically it's gonna take us in a different hole. You have to basically- you basically go where the current takes you. Like, here. It's gonna take us in an entirely new area. We're still nowhere close to done with this temple. We're at best halfway done with this temple. And we need to get the ice arrows. So I'll get them out. Interesting about this part of the game is that in the Japanese version, like, um, if you, uh, freeze this thing right here, no, ma no matter what point you freeze it, like, um, the, uh, basically, these levers will basically remain where they are, were when you froze them. So it's harder in the Japanese version. I think we need a combination of the ice arrows and the fire arrows. Except we didn't do this properly, so uh we need to get we need to put our fire arrows um We still need to get out the ice arrows for like um I now know what we need to do, but I think we all see I'm also gonna get out a hook trap because there's a couple of stray fairies in this room and I know that for a fact.
Yeah, we, we needed to get on that platform and then do it. I think there's only a couple of rooms left in this temple, because we already have the boss key. We just have to, I think they're the remaining, and the remaining stray fairies are in these last couple of rooms. And we hook shot there and there's a stray fairy in there. We also want to hook shot our way down there. We need to, I think we need to go to the lower platform. We kind of, there's the last stray fairy in this room. I'm just gonna get out my stray fairy mask and I'll, my gray fairy mask. I'll have to double check because this is uh, yeah, we should have a. I think we should have eleven by this point. Are there any more in this room? There aren't. All right, good. Let's get out of Zora mask so we can climb up easier and take out these enemies. So yeah. We basically need to, uh, we need to get our fire out, so I, I guess, um, I guess some of this will get cut out of the final video. I guess only the part where I was an idiot gets cut out of the final video. We need to get our arrows. I guess that's one thing I don't like about either of these temples, that, um, I wouldn't say there's as constant pausing in this area as there is to equip the iron boots in the water temple. But there is still constant pausing in this area. I'd say this is probably the worst out of all the rooms in this temple. Because it's worse than- it, it might be- it might even be worse than it is in Ocarina. I don't think I did this right. Cause that platform's over there. Yeah, I didn't do this right. I'll see you guys in a second. Actually, the second lot, I did do this right. I was just too engrossed and gain all the stray fairies in this room that I didn't do it properly. Can I get this damn chest? Yeah, that's how you do it. You need to hook shot the chest. So basically, the game designers intend you to do this. So like, did that seriously not hit? Yeah, that's basically I get that platform over. No! Dude. I'm gonna actually run out of time in this area. Because I, I still wanna do two side quests. I'm not even 100% sure if I'll get the, those done in time. We only have a couple more rooms to go. Well, this time the platform did show up in the correct spot, so yeah. I guess there is some timing based in the international version, just it's not as much as there is in the Japanese version. I actually never played through. Th I haven't. I have some Japanese. I have some Japanese virtual console games on my Switch. It's just I've never played it. I've only played through a few of them. I played through Japanese Mario Three, and that's a lot harder than the Japanese, uh, the American Mario Three. Because like uh, in the Famicom version of Mario Three, like uh, Mario gets hit, he shrinks no matter what power up you have. But I'm off topic, so we just need to get out of this room. We're finally out of this. No. You're out of this nightmare of a room, something like this happens. I don't think I've ever spent this amount of time in this fucking room. I don't want to fall off here because we don't really have that much time left. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get the if I'm gonna be able to get the I if I'm gonna be able to get the remaining items. Because like we still have 12 in-game hours left, but we're kinda of, we're kinda of close. We still have to do the boss. Alright. Control the camera. And finally we're out of this nightmare of a room. And there's a sh there's also a stray fairy in that uh hole, so we're gonna grab it. 
You didn't ever realize why Majora's Mask might be more of a niche Zelda game. Like, it's definitely not a game like every ga every gamer. It's not a game like really any everyone can play. Like, you really have to kind of put dedication into this, like, if you want to know all the side quests. I'm just getting more arrows and magic because we, we used a lot of them in the last room. And once again, much like other water temple has constant pausing with the uh, iron, with the iron boots, there's also constant pausing with the fire and arrow. So, so really, this has some of the same problems as Ocarina of Time's water temple, except worse. I went the wrong way the whole time. We didn't really go the wrong way, but I still need to get a stray fairy in this room, and I know where it is. I'm hoping I'm- I am hoping to god I'm not missing any- I think we're- I, I don't think we're missing any stray fairies, but I always get that impression I am. Because I think there's two- yeah, there's two in the- there's two in the boss room, yeah, so we're not missing any stray fairies. And I thought I was gonna miss that jump. Anyway, so this right here, we ha this is how you get in the boss room. I meant to equip the Zora Mask. We're just gonna take intentional damage. Because we need we need to kind of follow this path in order to get that uh, last stray fairy in this room. Looks like we're gonna- looks like it'll be the afternoon of the first day when we finish this. I'm gonna cut it off for this part of Majora's Mask. We've had enough failure in this video, so uh, next time Majora's Mask, we're gonna uh, finish the Great Bay Temple. So I'll see you guys next time.